This video will show you how to recommend a schedule to a student, multiple students, or a student group using Schedule Builder. After launching Schedule Builder, select the term in which you will be advising the student. We will use a previously created example schedule that was saved for this student. Navigate to the top right corner and click on the Expand Favorites arrow. Select the schedule that you would like to recommend, this will display a preview of the schedule inside of the Favorites tab. Click on the Load button to edit this saved favorite. After loading the saved schedule, navigate to the bottom of the page to recommend this schedule to the student. The Favorites tab will switch to Recommendations on the right side of the screen. Click on the checkbox next to the student's name to mark them as a recipient of the recommendation. You can choose to title this recommendation, as well as attach a message to it for the student to read. The mandatory checkbox requires the student to view the recommendation before they are able to use Schedule Builder, however they can still choose to enroll in other classes after viewing the recommended schedule. In certain cases, you may want to lock a particular class or classes that the student will be required to take. To do so, select the top level lock icon to make the class required. By clicking on the expand detail arrow, you can create a second level lock to make a particular section of a class required. The Permit Additional Courses checkbox can be used to allow students to add additional classes to their schedule on top of their recommendations. If the setting is disabled, the student will only be able to enroll in the classes shown. Adding tags can be used as an easy way to quickly search for your previously sent recommendations. When the recommendation is complete, click on the Save button. The classes have now been recommended to the student. If we navigate to the Start Over button on the main menu, we can preview how the recommendation will be displayed to the student. Since we did not make our recommendation mandatory, the student will have the option to view or skip it. You can also send recommendations to multiple students and student groups. Navigate to the main menu and click on the Stop Advising button to return to the Welcome page. Select the term in which you will be advising for. We will use the same example recommendation by navigating to our Save tab. Once our selected favorite is loaded, click on the Recommend button at the bottom of the page, or switch to the Recommendations tab on the top right. Then click on the Create Recommendation button at the bottom of the screen. From here, you can manually enter EMPL IDs to add to the list, or choose to recommend the schedule to a list of students by student group. Alternatively, you can choose to upload a CSV file with a list of EMPL IDs. The CSV file should only contain the EMPL IDs in a single column format. Once the list has been uploaded, click on the Select All button to highlight all the students in the list. After saving, all those selected in the list will receive the recommended schedule.